Now, long COVID represents the constellation of long-term health effects of COVID-19. It is a multi-system disorder that can affect nearly every organ system. It affects the brain, it affects the heart, it affects the endocrine system, it affects the immune system, it affects the GI system. Long COVID affects at least 20 million Americans. It affects people across the lifespan. We have kids with long COVID. We have people who are 100 years old with long COVID. It affects people across the lifespan and across demographic groups. The burden of long COVID, the burden of disease and disability from long COVID, when you measure it, is on par with the burden of cancer and heart disease. And even if people emerge unscathed after having the first infection, they can still get long COVID after reinfection. And I don't think enough people really know this fact or know about this. Recovery rates of long COVID are also low. Between low rates of recovery from long COVID and the cases that are due to reinfection, we are supposed to see continued rise in the burden of long COVID until we find better ways to prevent it and treat it. Now, you should be asking me now, how do we prevent long COVID? Well, the best way to prevent long COVID is to prevent COVID in the first place. There is actually no long COVID without COVID. You know, if you go back to 2019, you go back to 2018, none of us have heard of long COVID. Have you? You haven't. It didn't exist. There is no long COVID without COVID. We need a sustainable multi-pronged approach to prevent repeated infections that would be embraced by the public. This requires accelerating the development of oral and intranasal vaccines that block infections. This is very, very, very important. Ventilation and air filtration systems are also very important. They can play a major role in reducing the risk of transmission of airborne pathogens. We also need variant proof vaccines. What the virus is doing is really continuing to mutate on us. You know, every few months you're gonna see a new variant. We need a variant proof vaccine that lasts for a long time, that is durable, that, has dur that offers durable immunity. People are sick and tired of having to have boosters every few months. We need vaccines that last for five years or so, so they can get it done and get it over with for five years. We must also understand vaccine side effects. This is, must be acknowledged and understood very, very deeply. This is very, very important. Now you should be asking me also, like, how do we treat long COVID? You've heard it before, there are zero zero approved medication for the treatment of long COVID. So these people have nothing to really lean on for curative treatment, nothing, zero. Zero FDA approved medications for the treatment of long COVID. This must change. We really need to change this. It's not beyond the might and the prowess of American medicine to solve this problem. It's absolutely not. We've solved much, much harder problems in the past. We just need to focus on this and solve it. We are the best nation on earth and we can solve this. It's absolutely not beyond our prowess to address this.